Hey guys, welcome back to another series of tutorial on designing under 10 minutes. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'll be designing this kettlebell. So this is a simple part, and with few operations, we can design it very easily inside SolidWorks. Now, uh, after the design will be done, I'll be talking about the evaluate toolbar, and in that, I will talk about the mass properties. So let's start with the design for a new part and in fact I will just select a template so I have already created a template over here which is tactile iron material with inches as a unit system I'll just use it so now I have the unit system already I'll just start with the sketch on the front plane center line just do some simple center lines. Let's give them dimension eight and four. Let's do a line from this end point. Yes, give it a dimension of seven, and then let's go for an ellipse from the origin. First point on this line, second point on this line, and then let's take a line again, join this line with the ellipse. Let's trim this unwanted region, and after that, if you can see it's still underdefined, so I'll just select the point of the ellipse and the ellipse, make it coincident, it will be. Fully defined so this one is still not defined I can do that right click and we can define something like this okay now it's fully defined exit the sketch go for revolved select this as the axis okay you can see it's already uh, taking the material into consideration so I'll just change the appearance some lighter color this yes. now we will be doing another sketch so let's go for front plane sketch and over here let's start with the center line the origin give it a dimension of 7.74 zoom to fit i'll draw a three point arc from this end point like this select the center point select the center line make them coincident then give your arc a radius of 3.9 it will be defined you can also define this end point let's say three it will be fully defined now. You can exit the sketch and now I will utilize this sketch to create our plane. So go to reference geometry, create a plane, select your curve and this endpoint. Perfect. Now I'll utilize the new plane and go for a sketch. Over here I will uh, do a simple circle and let's go for a circle command. This give it a dia of 1.25 and then select the center point, select this one, go for pierce. Okay, fully defined. Exit the sketch. Now we can utilize the swift pause base, select your sketch and select your curve. That's right, let's utilize the mirror. Select this face and features to mirror as three. We have created the handle. Let's give it a fillet of uh, 0 0.5. So these two will be 0 0.5. And I will give one more fillet to the base. And this one I will go for one inches. Okay. Now we have our uh, kettlebell sitting perfectly on the ground. 
let's create another plane so that we can create some text on the front face so for plane give it a reference from front plane and change the distance to 3.5 inches so that some of the region or uh, some of the region is still inside select the plane go to sketch select a circle from the origin give it a dimension of 4.5 exit the sketch create extruded cut reverse the direction okay you have to select the bodies so select bodies i want body one to be there now we can simply hide our planes and let's select this face go for a sketch So for the sketch, I will start with some center line uh, like this. Let's do one more center line like this, and one more center line. Make sure this is horizontal. This is also horizontal okay let's assign them distance so this one from here 0.5 this one from here inches okay let's put on some text so we have to select the curve i'll select this one let's write the text as 14 pages We'll use our own font so uncheck and go for font select any of the fonts that you like for me i will select vardana go for points make it 50 okay you can also make center alignment so that it looks good this is a green tick let's go for another text select this curve and use your own text so i'll just convert the pages to pound select the font again you can select your own font whatever you like or then select vardana regular and give it 55 points center element okay last thing i will select center rectangle from the origin a very minimal rectangle like this and then exit the sketch we'll extrude cut this whole thing just a little bit 0 0.03 inches and press the green tick so that part is ready since we have designed the part we can save it now and then let's switch to evaluate and check the mass properties now in the mass properties you will find properties such as density mass volume center of mass you can always tweak all these values according to your requirement let's say you want particular mass you can change the design and then see how the values are changing accordingly also you can uh, use option over here and uh, pretty much use a custom setting for length and for mass let's go for kilogram okay now it's showing me the mass in kilogram so as a designer you should know these little uh, tools such as uh, mass properties so that uh, it will make your work more uh, professional and uh, yeah that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys like it and if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i will see you guys in the next tutorial peace out